a new part. All you need is an upgrade. <laughs> Relax, it's me, your mommy. I'm Chris Wedge, and Robots is a story I've wanted to tell for years. We're going to give you a taste of where the movie's heading, and hopefully you can begin to imagine what it will look like when it's finished. You're going to see the images we work with. Don't be thrown by drawings that aren't moving. This is what we use to plan the movement, the humor, and the acting in the movie. Robots is a big, colorful, mechanical world. So we're using any mechanical thing we can think of as inspiration to design it. It's fun picking through junk. This guy right here kind of started it all. This is a uh, Evinrude motor from the 40s or 50s. I just think he's got a lot of personality, you know? He's helping inspire our main character, Rodney. Out of the ballpark, boss. In this world, an all-robot world, in order to make a baby, you literally make a baby. We did want a boy, right? This won't hurt a bit, son. And our story begins. At a parade, Rodney and his dad gaze at a magnificent float of a noble, majestic bot. Who's that? That, Rodney, is Big Weld, the greatest robot in the world. Big Weld, let's get to invent, is the great wizard of our robot world. He creates things that make people's lives better. You can shine no matter what you're made of. Lo and behold, Rodney starts to invent things, just like Big Weld. Rodney is quite gifted, but his dad understands that as long as Rodney stays in Rivettown, he'll always just be the son of a dishwasher. So Rodney goes to Robot City. I won't let you down, Dad. I'll make you proud. But right from the start, it's clear that keeping his promise to his father will be much more difficult than he ever imagined. Oh, you really think I'm gonna let you in? <laughs> but I'm not. In Robot City, Rodney befriends the Rusties. Whoa. An oddball crew that he meets there. Fender's always losing parts of himself. Lug is a big guy. Does it come in plus sizes? Who has trouble controlling his emotions. Piper is the tomboy kid sister of the Rusties. We are not scrap, and we will not be treated this way. They all live in Aunt Fan's cozy mechanical apartment, which is never big enough for Aunt Fan's big old fanny. Whoa! Ah! Uh. Determined to meet Big Weld, Rodney finds a way to get himself into the highest echelons of Big Weld Industries. Oh! Standing in for Big Weld, who's mysteriously absent, is Ratchet, whose twisted dream is a world where everyone is as shiny as he is. Do you know what I call robots who can't afford upgrades? Scrap me! But even with all of his power, it's never good enough for his constantly disappointed horror of a mother, Madame Gasket. She runs the chop shop the most evil place in Robot City. These two villains are on a course to change Robot City forever. I'm ready! Mother! Ah! What started as Rodney's simple quest to meet Big Weld quickly becomes an urgent mission to save the big guy's life and Robot City with it. To do that, Rodney, the hand-me-down son of a dishwasher, has to shine brighter than anyone ever expected. You can't stop me! All of us at Blue Sky are extremely excited about robots and are working really hard to bring it to the screen. Mm -hmm. Oh man, this is my third oil change today. Something's wrong with me.